Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? You. Oh, <laughs> Pauline. It, it, it's not your makeup. Don't worry. Don't worry. Welcome to Monday's Northern Exposure. This is the dressing room. Now they call it the dressing room. There's no dresses. It's just jackets. And look at how many jackets there are. These are all the girls' jackets. Although that green chiffon one might be Tyrone's. Anyway, these jackets. Alison, my camera operator today. Alison, how old are these women? Are they 60? For heaven's sake. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. Anyway, enough of the dressing room. We'll be back in there later. Now, this is the long corridor of power. And between the dressing room and our studio on my left, which is camera right to you, that was the noisy apparatus room. It's not a good apparatus. It's not jumping off gym horses and onto mats, doing a tumble and somersault and a roll. No, no, no. It's just full of machines. It looks like a television station <laughs> because it is anyway studios back there around here now last week we saw behind the scenes of the gallery and into the studio and Alison watch the wall there watch the wall uh, in here are, I have to whisper this bit they are the lab rats lab rats there's no windows in this room no windows now if anyone knows what the uh, MCR stands for these guys know what MCR stands for now a finer bunch of men you would never hope to find. Very, very macho. It is 25 past 12. They've watched a diet of Jeremy Kyle, Trisha Goddard, and now they're enjoying this morning. Donnie, we'll come over and uh, speak to you. Uh, Donnie, what happens in MCR and why is it so important? Well, this is where everything comes in from, Chris. This is where uh, all the news material that comes into the buildings. Some, some engineers are yeah. We're all crazy. How many coffees into the day? None. No wonder you're looking a bit on edge. Let's escape before these guys begin to get violent. Come on. Oh, he's so handsome. Anyway, from a windowless room to uh, the brightest room in the entire building, this is the first bit of SDV North when we come in here and we get greeted by the wonderful sight of this huge television screen. We've got Peggy the receptionist. Peggy working hard on the phone. I'm sure she's not making any personal calls. What receptionist makes personal calls? Emma, personal calls? No, anyway. <laughs> Let's head upstairs and find out what's happening in today's North tonight. Follow me. Now, into the newsroom. It is oh, half past 12 now, so hopefully the agenda for today is just about decided. But it can change throughout the day. We'll find out what's going on in today's programme. Right, we're just going to come and invade the space of today's news editor, David McKeith. David, as I was saying, it's just coming up from one o'clock. Have you decided what's going to be in tonight's North Tonight? I haven't entirely decided. What I'm doing right now, Chris, is actually trying to look for the wet weather pictures that you endured at the weekend at the Outsider Festival, because what we can't believe is just what an absolute washout June has been. Certainly, I'll be looking for you to provide me a piece. Uh, maybe you want to tell us a bit about it anyway. Well, it'll be the Outsider Festival, which was exceptionally wet, as you were saying, David, and I still don't feel warmed up yet. Well, you've got a bit more warming up to do, I guess. <laughs> I think so. Right, we'll find out what else is going on tonight. Well, while Dave has been deciding what's going on to tonight's North Tonight at six o'clock, the news agenda has already been set by our very own lovely GMTB reporter, presenter and producer, Lynn Stewart. Lynn, how early did you get up this morning? I was up at 2.15 to get to work for four o'clock. Um, I live in Forfar, so I've got a bit to travel in the morning. So I was in for four um, and got cracking on what was on the go. 2.15 a.m. AM and DT, yep. so it was an early alarm clock this morning. You're looking amazing on it. Will you be alive by Friday? Well, hopefully so. Um, nothing that a few coffees in the morning doesn't fix. Now, Lynn, I was going to ask you one more important, vitally important question. Who's the handsomest guy in the newsroom? <laughs> now, that would be revealing it all. Uh, I could 30? possibly say. <laughs> 50? No amounts of money will buy me, kids. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. I'll be having words with her later. Join us again tomorrow at stv.tv forward slash news for Northern Exposure on Tuesday. Bye-bye.